For more on this past game and all games, log on to Raiders.com. And while there, you'll find the work of Tony Gonzalez. He's been the Raiders team photographer for the past 10 years. And not only is he a great local sports photographer, but he's also known on a national level. And recently, Tony took time out of his very busy schedule to talk to some aspiring photographers and show them some tricks of the trade. In 11 seasons and a million or so pictures taken, Oakland Raiders team photographer Tony Gonzalez actually has a favorite photograph. Curry, one-handed catch. I have that in a sequence. I don't know, I think it's like 16 shots in my room. And I had Ronald sign that. And, you know, it's, it's real special every time you take a look at it. Recently, Tony G shared that story and many other photog tips to a group of more than 50 intensely interested amateur photographers. As a aspiring professional photographer, I wanted to get experience. This is amazing because I've loved the Raiders my whole life. Being able to have the chance to come here on the field and be with people that are so nice, um, it, it's an amazing experience. It's just a way for me to give back. You know, spend a little time with somebody and, you know, give them an opportunity to talk, listen to what I have to say. Do you have an inspiration when you first started out? I love photography. I love looking at images. Gonzalez's affinity for images is diverse. He's worked all circuits of the photography world. Getting his first break in the fashion industry, he turned his talents to sports in the 90s and wowed the Raider organization in 2000 with his ability to capture clutch plays in a game. I shoot from the end zones, and the key to that is so I can get facial of our players coming at you. A lot of times you do want to visit an opponent's face if we have a you know, player making a sack. You want to get that facial expression that that quarterback has, you know, showing that pain. Shooting from the end zone is just one of the tricks Tony shared to the group of future photogs. I learned a lot of good information from them regarding what cameras, you know, putting the camera settings on and all that stuff. So it was good information. I enjoyed it. You can take 30 people to shoot one image. You're going to get 30 different perspectives and not everybody's gonna agree on what's a good shot you know it's per you know it's a personal taste working long hours is just part of the gig game days begin at 8 30 a.m. and end somewhere in the middle of the night and while the team catches up on Z's after a road game that's when Gonzalez's creative juices start flowing editing all the game day picks they all look around and people would be sleeping or maybe might be watching a movie and you know I'll be there grinding away but it's a grind he's appreciative of one of 32 photographers I'm one of them I mean it, it's special in that respect but then you know you have to be on top of your game when you're out there you have to take care of business or else somebody else gonna walk in and take your job away you know plus the fans you know after a while they know who you are it's like you know hey get our shot get our shot you really can't put words you know on how special it really is the fans know him, and so do Raider player parents. In fact, they count on him. Oh, I was talking to John Condo's dad, and he said this is one of the only ways I can keep up with my son is through the website by seeing his pictures, especially during camp. You know, and he said he looks forward to getting on the website every day to see what we have up. His accommodating nature has kept him in the game for more than two decades, and his gift to capture a single moment in time will forever live in his photographs a rare talent that someone he mentored that Sunday may possess. Just to be out here, just to be a part of it, I mean, to be out on the field is just something I've always dreamed of, and um, I'm finally here, so it's great. I, thanks for the Raiders for the opportunity. 